All right, all right. <clears throat> Howdy, folks. Uh, we are gonna, we're working on just a little bit of a kind of maintenance uh, tuck pointing. <clears throat> we had concrete done around here. They already had some settling issues. Uh, this particular sort of column had moved out a little bit and they have a handrail here. Yesterday I had ground out all of this and repointed it. And I noticed this morning when I came back and I started working that it was already starting to crack in places from the handle, just pulling on it just a little bit. So what I did is we've taken out just a little bit of brick here and I've put in all threads uh, with nuts and washers on them and then used, uh, this is Hilti, uh, this is an anchoring, um, it's like a epoxy type thing uh, to anchor with. Um, I've done this before in another house where a lady's entryway door, it was a circular doorway, an old house, and it kept moving out. And we went over and we drilled through the wood into the brick and we put all thread into there and epoxied it in place with this uh, anchoring product and it stopped moving after that. So we stopped to do that. So um, I just figured I'd show this and uh, it's a little different. Mm. I think it probably added maybe, it really only added a couple of hours to this. Uh, so what we've done here is I've got my brick laid out and I've already, I've got them laid out exactly as they're gonna go back up. And what I've done is I've already pre-cut these. So I've cut the, clipped the corners on them or clipped them wherever I need to clip them because now we've got this um, all thread with a washer and a nut in the end. And I, I got them set up where they would go in between these two brick. So again, I mean, I'll, I'll be able to get mud into here and, and mud this all back in and it's going to be super tight once we rebuild it. But we've already got everything ready to go. Um, so we'll lay some brick. Also along the lines of color matching, just so you can see the process, this was my first color uh, that I made on this job and you know just tried something. This was light chocolate with light buff but it was only a third of a cup of each and really what it made it you know kind of this pleasant gray color which is not correct so if you look you know here it's it's totally wrong um i came back the next day i made this mix here which was getting closer but was still a little light and then I increased the, uh, so what I did is I ended up taking the original batch that was kind of this gray color and I ended up with two buckets of it. So I took one bucket and I mixed it into a full like mix of just regular white mix. And now I already know that's gonna cut the white down. It's gonna knock the edge out of that white. And what I've gotta do is increase the beige kind of tone to it. So I took more light buff. I think I went with like a, maybe a half a cup or even as much as a cup of light buff um, to get it to here. I've dried this out. We've put it on the wall and you can't even see it. So, you know, yesterday on these, the bottom of that pier on that side and this pier from up in here somewhere, ground it out. Today we came back, we've done some work on the archway. They were losing the keystone brick. Uh, so we've ground that out and repointed it in place. So that's a little bit more on color matching. Um, usually it's two or three rounds, you know, for me to get to a color that I think is going to work really well. Mm. So, mm. oh, that was terrible, terrible. Can't really lay from that direction.
Uh, again, this, this mud that I'm using, <clears throat> I don't know if I said this once, but this mud that I'm using is the wrong color mud. It's just that I'm trying to get rid of it <clears throat> doing this. So once I put these in, I'll uh, rake them a little bit, and then I, I've already got the grout ready for this one. So again, when you're laying brick into an existing wall, you're just kind of following, you know, we're going to follow this up. I don't, I can use a level if I want, but I can already tell you that from here to here is way out or, you know, not plumb. Um, so, uh, I don't really need to worry too much about that. Um, and you know, when you take your brick out, you can see, obviously this part was buried in the wall before. So, and it's got a clean edge out here. Um, so, um, let me turn this phone off and let's butter this a little bit. Let's get a little on the top as we're going to lip under this brick. Uh, and then we could also put some on the face because the face is probably going to touch the wall. like that That's a lot of mud. Yeah, once you get all this mudded into place, um, it's going to be much, much harder for this to want to pull. 
Um, it's still going to want to pull, but uh, it's going to be a lot harder for it to actually be able to do it. Um, so we've, again, you know, just notched out every brick around it. So we have plenty of room to get around it. And then we've also got a nice cavity built in to um, get mud down in it. So this thing, once it's done, it's going to be going to be locked up pretty tight. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't, uh, hopefully it doesn't pull. <clears throat> some mud to stick in here. Yeah, so once you get to this point, you can see that we're, you know, we're out. There's just nothing we can really do too much. We can pull in um, a little bit to it, kind of eat that up. But we're not going to worry about it. Uh, for the most part, that's going to hide. You can tuck point at an angle a little bit. This has got a little bit of separation here, so this will get ground back out and repointed. Um, I really didn't want to take too much of this apart because A, I didn't want to have it apart very long and B, I really didn't want to rattle it any more than I was going to have to, uh, to get it to work right. And, uh, we did this with, uh, really, a, we did this with a Sawzall. I didn't even use a, a hammer drill for this. So it was just a, it was actually a Sawzall with just an all purpose blade. I wasn't using like a specific masonry blade, nothing special. Uh, you know, something anybody could do if they were so inclined. mud on the top of that <clears throat> mud the back of the brick oh. you know I think I'm gonna actually use this as the face so change that to there gosh I'm having a hell of a time I don't know maybe I should stick with what I was gonna do I'll we'll just leave that yeah. You can use your trowel to catch, you know, if you were sticking out, you'd catch here. So we're at least keeping kind of the same plane, kind of diving up into this to catch this. Um, you can definitely see on the back side, there's probably three eighths of a lip from this course right here off. But you know, we're just we're we're just going from here to here. Um, even if we were going from the lower part of the ground, it <clears throat> it'd create problems to try to match this up. It'd probably be easier to you'd have to bring it from somewhere in here, or somewhere down here, and then bring it back together and try to hide it over, um, you know, a bunch of courses of brick. <sighs> if you got your mud right, if you got your mud sticky, little sticky is better than, you know, cutting it too close.
You having fun yet? Oh yeah, yeah, we're getting it back up. Yeah, just about got that part done. Jeez. So yeah, back to back to work. <laughs> you do amazing work. Oh thanks. I mean, totally amazing. Oh yeah, just match what was there, you know. Just make you it know, look make, is, make it look like yeah. it did. I, to honest, you go way beyond what most guys would do. Yeah. And that's really appreciated. Oh, good, man. I hope it does. I hope it doesn't move. I hope that that stabilizes it, because. Uh, now we yeah. just have to figure out how to stabilize my mind. <laughs> that, that's yes. the bigger problem. All right. We'll talk about that <laughs> later. Do you need anything? A soda or anything? No, I'm good. I'm just. Uh, just getting this back up, and then I'll start get back to pointing and cleaning and going back okay. around the house. Okay. That's you. it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. <clears throat> all right. That looks good. Looks all right. Looks all right. Uh, not bad. Not bad. We'll just leave that alone for a minute. That corner a little bit back and right on so we'll, we put that back together let it set for a minute and uh, rake it out put in the, the correct color mortar and get back to work on the rest of this and I'll shoot a video when we're done so you guys can see the uh, final product <clears throat>